Hi everyone and welcome to this demo where I'm going to show you how to run Informatica Cloud Data Loader for Salesforce. Now the first thing you want to do is to get started on the Data Synchronization tab. Once you click on that, you'll be asked to download our secure agent. Click on Download the Agent, choose your platform, and install the secure agent. You're now ready to begin using our data services. So click on the data services tab and here's how you're going to start up your first data synchronization task. In this particular example, we're going to basically extract data out of Salesforce and put it in a flat file. Remember to give your task an easy name to remember and make sure under the task operation to select insert. Now the next step is to create a connection to your source, which is Salesforce in this instance. So go ahead and click on New Connection. Go ahead and give it an easy name to remember by. And under Type, make sure you select Salesforce. Now under Salesforce Connection Properties, you're going to input your username for your Salesforce account, as well as your password. Now this next step is extremely important because you need to input a security token that you have to obtain from Salesforce and how you get the security token is to go into Salesforce go under set up my personal information and reset the security token and then input it there make sure to add the Informatica Cloud IP ranges mentioned there to avoid doing this every single time Now that you've established a connection to Salesforce, you're going to want to select the objects from Salesforce that you want to extract onto your flat file. In this case, let's select the account object and you get a wonderful preview of the first couple of rows of data within the account object. Now in this step, you're going to have to select your flat file as your target object. So just like when you selected Salesforce as your source, this time you have to establish a new connection and give it an easy to remember name, but this time you select flat file instead of Salesforce. And make sure that you enter the directory in the folder where you want to retrieve your flat file extract of your Salesforce data. Now that we've established a flat file connection, the next step is to really select a target object of the flat file type. Now you've got a couple of options here. Either you can select some of the other flat files that you already have, or you can dynamically use Informatica Cloud to create a target flat file, which is what we're going to do in this particular example. So you go ahead and name your flat file and go ahead and select whatever source fields you want from Salesforce to appear as target columns in your flat file. Once you've gone ahead and created your flat file, you'll see that there's obviously no data, and that's because we haven't run the data integration task yet. So the next step is to define any data filters if you want, or to define how many rows you want to process. And in this case, I'm going to process only the first couple of rows. Now you're ready to map fields between your Salesforce source and your flat file target. You can either drag and drop to do it manually or have Informatica Cloud automatically match them up for you. Once you've done this, go ahead and input any scheduling options if you wish. Go ahead and save your data synchronization task. And now, click on the green button to run the task. Pretty soon, you should be able to see your data loader task execute successfully in the activity log. What this means is, all the rows and the objects you've selected from Salesforce have successfully been extracted over to your flat file. So if you go over to your flat file, you'll see all the rows there. 
Thanks for watching this demo of the Informatica Cloud Data Loader and go to informaticacloud.com slash data loader for more information.